You guys always see me on YouTube making videos, but the way I actually make money is by being a PC builder. And I used to be a PC flipper, but nowadays I want to say I'm mostly a proper PC builder. However, building PCs by itself is a large part of my income, but it's very variable and it is not constant over time. There are months where people build more PCs and months where people want less PCs. So what I actually do to sustain myself is I do a lot of tech work in general. And in this video, I thought I'd break it down for you guys. So in case you guys want to get into PC building, you know what to do also to complement your income or just in case you guys like tech, I can give you some ideas on what to do. I don't believe in gatekeeping or keeping secrets. I just think there's enough space for everyone in the market. Now I started by flipping computers. So basically you buy an old used gaming PC, possibly with issues, very likely very dusty and sounding like a jet engine taking off. You clean it up, fix it up, maybe swap out some parts and sell it out for a profit. I was doing zero shiny new builds, nothing like what you see nowadays on the channel. But if you go back in my old videos, you can actually see me doing all of that because it's actually how I started the channel. It was a very tough job and it's also why Today I stopped also because really in the current market, I don't think there is that much margin for profits, at least less than what I'm doing today. And it was a job which was very time consuming and it was really like hands on with dirt and grime inside the computers and a lot of issues. However, dealing with so many issues by myself is what taught me basically everything I know today, because you go on every day, you find a new issue, you figure out how to solve it. And by doing that, you learn. Over time, I stopped with that and slowly transitioned into making only brand new builds and with that upgrades and of course, still fixing stuff on commission and offering other services, which is where you can charge a lot of money. It's actually where you get the most pay for hour, more than building a PC. These days, I do anything from fixing bent pins, flashing broken biases, sometimes even making custom biases to fix stuff overclocking, undervolting, on commission, data recovery, and even the more simpler things like just reinstalling Windows. I also do consulting. So if people do want to buy a new gaming PC, maybe they want to build it themselves or they have someone who will do it, but they come to me to basically get a list of the right components. This is also something for a while I thought about offering uh, here on YouTube and on social media, but then never actually followed through. But basically, if people want to get advice on something tech related, they can book an hour of my time or half an hour of my time and I can help them out. Then there's YouTube because nowadays I also make some money from this, which is great. And it's all thanks to you guys. So I'm genuinely thankful even to you watching this video right now. And uh, this actually is still a very small part of what I do, but it's what I love doing the most. Actually, what I love doing the most is not recording videos, but it's just tech. But right there is actually making content because how I started getting into PCs was just watching videos of people playing around with PCs, mostly Brian from Tech City, to be honest. I hope that slowly this will become my main job and that, that I will still be able to keep doing all the stuff I do with tech, but just not for people, just to show you guys, that would be my dream. However, in becoming more and more sustainable, this is where data recovery plays a big part. So I mentioned before that some jobs have a much higher pay per hour. Basically, nowadays, anyone can build a PC. So unless you're doing some crazy custom water cool stuff, which is a very small percentage of the number of PCs we do, it's definitely not a high paying per hour job. High paying per hour jobs among what I do, the highest ones probably are motherboard repair, like bent pins or some soldering. The, those pay very well with BIOS in it thrown into. And then data recovery. Data recovery probably has the highest ROI per hour for me, because if you have a good software, what you do is basically you set the software up and then you just need a bit of human skills to actually understand where the data was, what kind of data it was, and actually uh, figure out if the client would want something else more than what they explicitly tell you. For example, if they're looking for a deleted uh, video, which they made, if you also recover for them the project files, they're going to love you. So these are things which I try to do. But again, after you actually figure out what you want, it's super easy. It's just like the software is going to do it for you. You just need to plug in the drive properly and then set the software up properly. Nowadays, more than ever, because good software today is AI powered and basically will do everything for you. And this is why I partnered for today's video with Recoverit. Now Recoverit, I did cover it 
already on my channel. I have a full tutorial on how to use it, what it can do, but just a little recap for today as well. It's basically the best data recovery software there is out there at the moment that's user-friendly. And it's called Wondershare Recovery V14. And I decided to partner with them because I was actually using the software already. So I can now also get money by making this video and by telling you guys about the software, which is great for me. So getting into it, it's AI powered. Now, nowadays, everything seems to be AI powered, but this is actually helpful because I've been into data recovery for a while. It's so much easier now because the software recognizes devices intelligently. Basically, you connect your drive and it will know if it is an SD card, an HDD, an SD, internal, external, it will do everything for you. So whether it's an NVMe or a corrupted SD card, it's gonna basically optimize the scan based on what kind of device it is, which makes sense because if the device is faster or if it is older, it's, it's gonna be very different. And this is what makes the scan faster because back in the day, I had scans running for like two days to, to actually scan a drive. Now, it takes a lot less. It's still very long if the drive is slow, but it's easier, which again, makes the turnover faster if you're doing it for clients. And if you're doing it for yourself, it's nice to have your files back quicker. Getting into it a bit more, basically first, it does a quick scan, which is adaptive. And then if you want, you can also do a very deep scan in case some fragments are missing. But so far, I haven't had the need to do so. You also get real time previews of what is being found. So you can actually see if your files are there, you can chill out and be like, okay, I got it. Just give it the time to actually recover all of it. And we're going to be fine. Now the AI part doesn't stop there. It's also in file repair. And this is a game changer because listen, there's nothing better than a client coming to you because they've been to another shop before where they try to do something, they gave them a quote and they failed. Then they come to you and you do it for them. So when this happens, you basically have a client for life. This happens to me with motherboard repairs. And this happens to me in data recovery because now with this simple piece of software, which yes, you have to pay for, but it's a good investment if you're running a business, basically this algorithm will automatically reconstruct damaged files by parts. And it also has an advanced AI enhanced video repair tool, which is going to fix the videos frame by frame, which is insane. And it works very, very well because it reconstructs the data blocks and pulls the video together automatically, which is crazy. And uh, this is especially useful if the SD card goes out mid recording, because sometimes the, the file doesn't get saved and this actually works. So I had one time where a client had this exact scenario and this is how I fixed it. And you do leave an impression, even though I did nothing, it was just software. So yeah, it's not just for big data recovery jobs. You can also just quickly retrieve something from the trash can in your main system if you need to. I use it a lot and I feel confident in recommending it. And I'm very happy that I could have this sponsorship in the video. I've tried a lot of recovery tools. I've been doing this for a while and most of them feel like they were built on Windows XP or on DOS, even worse. This looks clean works well, and it's an easy recommendation. I use it for clients and for myself whenever I delete something by mistake. It saves me hours from reshooting stuff. So yeah, that's basically how I make money as a PC builder. The, the thing is, building PCs doesn't quite cut it, or better, it does in certain months of the year. But to get more clients and to have something to do when not everyone wants to build a new computer, and as you can see, I'm very transparent on the channel with my recommendations. Very recently, I basically told people to not buy a PC at the moment. It's very important to have the systems in place to offer more services that are gonna complement your main business and allow you to stay afloat. Now, I don't mind sharing knowledge. I don't mind telling you guys which software they use. I even made a tutorial on how I fix broken motherboards, especially the pins. I gave a lot of tricks with a heat gun stuff that I never saw on the internet, which I do daily. I think it's not a problem because there's a small percentage of you watching and the people that come to me for repair are not tech savvy people. They are mostly slightly older people or just people that don't care about tech. Uh, even to just understand this video and actually figuring out that your time may be worth investing into fixing motherboards, soldering, data recovery, those things, you do need to be into tech and you do need to like hardware and PC building. So I don't think I'm compromising myself by giving you all this information. I don't think it's a problem. And I'm actually happy if you guys like it. I would actually be even more happy if you guys went ahead and shared in case you're doing something similar what you do. Because again, listen, 
there's probably not going to be competition. Let's say you're based in North America and I live in Italy. I'm not going to compete with you. And the other people watching, maybe they're from another country even. So I think we can all share what we're doing, use this channel as a bit of a community to help each other. And we can also offer better services to the people out there because if they're going to pay us, that means that they like what we're doing and we are helping them. So with that said, again, huge thanks to Recovery for sponsoring this video. And huge thanks to you guys for watching up until this moment. And if you did, maybe drop a like and subscribe and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.